I want to ask about or talk about because you you talk about this in your book, and you know we we're using terms like algorithms and AI, artificial intelligence. Are we? Is it even possible? Do you think? Are we going to get to the point where artificial intelligence replicates the human brain? Um. All right. I, there's there's a lot to this. Uh, mm-hmm. The first thing is we we all think that all our thinking resides in our brain. And I would say that it doesn't. I think that our thinking is as a whole body experience. Your um, the oldest brain in your body is in your gut. You know, guts came first, and there is a nervous system in your gut, and that nervous system operates kind of semi autonomously along with your brain. You don't think about digestion, and you don't think about uh, the tensions that arise in your gut that are reflective of deep uh, primitive feelings, but they were influence mm-hmm. your thinking. So your immune system is similar. Your peripheral nervous system is similar. These old brains influence your brain. And that stuff's super highly interactive. And and on top of that, the kind of model of our brains we have that it's a bunch of synapses firing like a computer, uh, that's not correct really either. That's a high simplification. Our brain does all, the neurons do all sorts of complicated stuff, some of which are like on-offs, like firing, and some of which are, are gradual knobs that turn up and down. So it's all really very complicated. So then you become you ask yourself the question, can you create a computer system that simulates all of those things to, to simulate human-like thinking, right? You know, human-like thinking that isn't just ones and zeros and isn't just facts and is, is a combination of emotions and feelings and facts and sociality and lots of stuff that allows us to make decisions. And the answer to that is maybe... Maybe we can do that. Um, We're not trying to do that right now, and we're really, really far from doing it. Uh, Mm -hmm. But then you get, does it require us to get to a level of um, replication of of human beings that's sort of absurd? You know, where where effectively you have uh, a a detailed replication of the neuron patterns of a brain and a detailed replica that has to go down to the kind of biological cell level. So we have to make it in wetware. We can't make it in hardware because otherwise it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to. And then you've got to connect it up to a gut and connect it up to eyes and nose and mouth. And that the the subtleties of those things become a part of the whole process. And and, and at some point, does this just become a reduction to the absurd is we're basically just making another people, another person and we know how to do that already right um uh, we make plenty of them. yeah um so, so so the thing is is can we get a computer to think like a person uh totally artificial general intelligence is what people refer to uh in general and i would say mm-hmm. not really because um i think that at some point you're really just making another person because i think intelligence human intelligence is not just residing in the brain Mm, okay, I see. Yeah. And that was great. Yeah, I, I really love learning about that because that's something that I have always thought that, you know, I, that's what I thought AI was. That's what artificial intelligence was. But it's, that's, yeah, general intelligence, like you're saying, there's other levels of it, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I make this, I say this thing over and over again, uh, but it, it, is, it is a good example. Is The word artificial means two things in English, and this is really telling. Uh, One of them is in the sense of artificial light. The light from the lamp that's shining in my face is artificial light. It's man-made light, but it is light. It's photons in space. It's light. I mean, it's just Mm -hmm. man-made. And the other meaning of artificial is like artificial flowers. Artificial flowers are not flowers. They're just an imitation, an appearance of flowers. Mm. That... Those two meanings cause confusion in the description of artificial intelligence. And you build on top of it that the word intelligence, we don't know what that means, right? We don't, it's a loaded word that we don't really understand. So you have these, this real ambiguity. I think that most AI, what most people re- don't realize is most AI is in the realm of artificial flowers. It's, it's an imitation that has some of the appearances of being intelligence like a person, but actually is dramatically different under the hood, made of very different stuff and, and, and limited in its simulation in very profound ways. Mm-hmm. The existence of artificial intelligence like artificial light, where it is intelligence, whatever the hell that means, except man-made, uh, that's, we're nowhere near that. And I'm not even sure we know how to get there. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button.
just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video and this sweet adorable cute little puppy gets a treat all thanks to you all right you did it okay i believe you you said you did it there you go murph she got that treat because of you now i'll eat one of these treats and all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there pointing to it just click that subscribe button, subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. Girl, not very good.